Hello, my peeps. It's Tracy here. It's a little impromptu unboxing. Um, I have other things to show you tomorrow. <laughs> so, on, on on my live. So I wanted to do this one first, though, because I'm I'm so excited to see this kit, and I haven't actually seen it yet. So yes, the unboxing is not just because I have catalogs, but look at this. I actually have three packages of each of these. So if you do not have a demo and you are looking for catalogs, I would be happy to help you. Send me a message and I will get those out to you. For those of you who are expecting catalogs, uh, next week at the latest, I'm going to try to get some of them ready so I can drop them off on my little marathon jaunt on Sunday, Saturday when going to the theater. And um, if not, uh, Sunday, I decided Sundays I don't do anything. Or I just do fun, like I just do whatever I want. The lazy day is doing the bare minimums reading. So so then it would probably be Monday or Tuesday of next week if, if you haven't got them by Saturday. But it'll see how far I can go. So those are on their way. The impending arrival. But this is what just came. And I mean, we're talking hot off the front step. <laughs> That's like hot off the presses, only it was on my front step. Um, I got this 10, 15 minutes ago. And I have been looking forward to it. Um, I have lots of... <laughs> seen lots of stuff about the January, February, March and the new dyes that are coming out and all the stuff. But this one, they gave us like the initial information and then we didn't get much more. So I'm very excited to see it. Um, all I did was take the plastic off. No idea what's on the inside. <laughs> I just took the plastic off because I struggle sometimes with, with packaging and you know, I don't need everybody to watch me struggle with packaging. <laughs> Um, oh, a thousand good luck wishes. Hello, friend. Wishing, oh, wishing you all the best. That's pretty. And then some dandelions. Look at the nice font there. I like this. And that's a nice big one, too. You can put that on a circle punch or something and boom. Okay. Oh, and we have Pebbled Path. I love Pebbled Path. It's kind of a gray brown. It's one of my favorites of the new colors. All right. Who am I kidding? <laughs> Tissue paper in the recycle. I just move the box out of the way for now. I gotta need somewhere to put all my bits and pieces, so we'll just do that. Okay. I will carefully open the packaging without cutting anything. Stampin' Up has if you order a small order, they've got a new system to cut down on. I think it's you know cut down on the expensive shipping, but it's also you know more environmental, less packaging and stuff. But they, it's like a it's like a big tube of padded envelope, and then they put your smaller stuff in it. And then they seal it off and they I don't know if they suction it or if it's just the way it goes through the mis machine but it is in there and it does not budge and so when you try to get it out though you have to be very careful you know I cut a package open luckily it was just like a refill for a seal but I cut all down the side of one package and cut it open in the attempt to get the stuff out of the envelope so I'm very I'm very cautious now with the opening things okay oh my goodness look how pretty those are gorgeous so I, I have totally forgot nine cards and nine envelopes okay so there's three patterns three each and then it comes with a case and a belly band oh my goodness look at that look how pretty those cards are there we go i can make it focus oh these are pretty okay so tear and tape i'm gonna guess that's for the belly band and getting some of the stuff done um oh these must are these pool party what is the color balmy blue Sometimes it's hard to tell on the gems because you get different tones of them. Oh my gosh, these are such pretty cards. Look at these little gems. Oops, dropped them. <laughs> I was trying to hold my hand so still. Try this way. I gotta black it out. Oh, look at those balmy gems. They're pretty. You notice I have figured out the secret. The secret is just to put enough stuff to block the background and then try to hold my hand still. Okay, you guys, these are just the envelopes. Look how gorgeous they are. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yep, they're all the same. Oh, this little, like, make a wish, blow the dandelion fluff. I love it, but as much as I'm not a fan of the dandelion itself, I do like the dandelion images. I, have, I still have the sets we had, I don't know, a couple years ago, there was two different bundles that went together as a big suite that were dandelions. Okay, if you, if you like dandelions, I can tell you already, I haven't even got past the first card base, but the card base is printed on both sides, which means if you love this card base, you can easily catch cards in half, give them a little trim, and mount them on cardstock, and now you've got two cards for every one. But if not, and you fold them in half, you just have a beautiful double-sided card. 
Okay, so that's one base. Oh, look how pretty that is. Now, we got some Stylin gold. Yep, these are the gold. <sighs> Alright, I'm back. You may not have known I left, but... Oh, my ever-loving dog. My son's ever-loving dog. Loves to come into my office and steal things. In this case, plastic bags. And honestly, I just cannot handle another trip to the vet <laughs> with this dog. Here are the labels. Now, there's three cards of this design and four labels. So that's very nice because you get a spare one in case you have oopsie. Or in case you want to just make more cards. Oh, look at this pretty base. Here's another pretty base. This is one of the other ones. Well, that's this one, which is good, which they put a big sheet over top of and cover most of on that, that picture. But um, I don't know. I think it is lighter on the top. And it's just all fluff. That's very pretty. And, oops, oh, more labels. So these are... Okay, so these circles are actually bigger. Here, I'll pop one out so you can see. I can tell from this card here. So the gold is on the inside. So you're going to stamp your sentiment inside of the gold. And then there's flowers that go on here that will attach to the outside of this. Oh, those are so very pretty. Look at that. And then and they go on this card, which goes like this. Mm. So two of the card bases could be cut in half. This one is, is going to be plain on the other side, so I'm not sure you gain much by cutting in half, but you could. Um, so yeah, these are these are card bases that it looks like there's die cuts that go over top of them. And then, sorry, I'm trying to get all these. Ooh, this has got some static going here. I'll set that off. Oh yeah, so here's the die cuts. So there's die cuts that go, see these little curved ones here go on the one side. These are so pretty, they look like watercolor. So we need one for the the this card Ooh, this little guy goes on the other card one circle two circles where does this one go oh this one goes on that one okay so yeah you have exactly enough unfortunately there's not extra dandy guys those would be nice um oh and then this one card has some little gold dandelions on it and then so this makes nine cards and then it is designed I think you, there might be, I might have counted, maybe there is one extra flower that you can use on the belly band. But then it comes with this box, which I can't find the end of, there we go. <clears throat> well, and we'll have to see, because this box appears to be the same size as the ones we used to have. And the ones we used to have did not fit nine cards. Um, we'll go with the acetate box. And so this is going to close up so you can put cards in it with envelopes. And then, that's just it. <laughs> just have to, just have to get, there we go, so we can pinch a little. And then it comes with this little belly band. Oh, and look at the belly band's even scored. So the belly band has got little score marks in it. It's going to wrap around like that. So yeah, it says for you on it, and you could give it as a gift, and then you can, you could put one of your little like die cuts on it or tie some twine or jazz it up however you want. So that's kind of cool. Um, Chuck had the nerve to go down the street, so any minute now we could get barked out by the dog. The dog is making videoing so much fun today. But seriously, look at these pretty pieces. And again, people are going to make cards out of these envelopes because the envelopes are so pretty. Oh, love it. Okay, so part of the reason I wanted to show you this today as well is um there may or these are beautiful beautiful cards and if you missed out on the first go around there may or may not be refills or full kits available and what they do is the first monday after the 20th which happens to be the 25th <laughs> so i am not sure exactly what day but somewhere on and about christmas uh possibly just before would be my guess maybe because the last set of uh, refills they're changing the system for January, um, and they're going to make it the day after the 20th. Um, so it's possible they will do the same thing in December and just start that a bit early so that they can avoid the whole they come out on Christmas Day kind of thing. Um, I realize that not everybody celebrates Christmas, but it still seems like an odd day to release something. So there's a chance that these will come out on Thursday the 21st. There's a chance there won't even be refills. But if you are at all interested in this kit, if you miss it the first time and you want me to watch for you, because I do check every day on things, 
um, and you want me to watch for the refills or for full kits, let me know because they'll be coming out right as things are getting ramped up and going for the holidays. But these are some beautiful cards with some really nice sentiments. And these will be, this will cleanse your palette of all the Christmas. I know we all like making Christmas cards, but at a certain point we need to shift our focus now to things that happen outside of Christmas. So this will be a nice little palette cleanser. Um, and then into the spring stuff. Yeah, these are beautiful cards. So there you go. That's the paper pumpkin kit. Uh, let me know if you want any, and if not, happy Thursday. Um, enjoy your enjoy your day, and we will uh, see you tomorrow, Friday at 12:30. Uh, I got a I got a fun fold card for you. All right, thanks everyone. Bye.